The German part of uh, the presentations is about uh, basics of learning styles, and we uh, are talking about uh, visual and uh, visual and oral learning styles. And <coughs> uh, the whole population all over the world is uh, approximately 40% visual uh, style learners, approximately 30% oral style learners, and 30% uh, kinesthetic learners. And 100% uh, are mixed ones. Everybody's learning in a different way, in a different situation, in different styles. So. Uh, the result is that uh, you have to combine all the learning styles. And why is it important? Why is this important uh, to understand uh, a student, uh, for a student and for, uh, for us as teachers, uh, to know their own learning style? Their own learning style, uh, for example, for the students, makes uh, them uh, a better choice for their major subjects at school for the courses the oh, so small it's so small um, for example uh, when they are kinesthetic learners Estonian part uh, and the uh, kinesthetic learners uh, decide to uh, visit um, Courses about construction management, then it's a, uh, a very good uh, fit. Uh, so it's necessary to know your own learning style. And in um, if we in our schools, in our high schools, in our universities, um, make it possible for the students to not to learn about their own uh, learning style, uh, there will be. Uh, it's easier for them to choose the correct, uh, the correct subject, the correct uh, uh, courses. And next one. Uh, for for us to know what is typical for a um, visual learner, a visual learner typically remembers what was written or seen in a presentation. He uh, his main uh, a, a possibility to, is not to hear, to see. And typically visual learners don't retain what they hear over a long uh, period of time. They always think in pictures and they use scenes to describe something and uh, they, have a ver they have very uh, of vi uh, vivid imaginations. Uh, they associate colors with information and uh, they very often remember faces but not the names and they like written reports better than uh, verbal ones. Oral learners on the other side, they remember easily what they hear in a lecture or presentation or even during a conversation. Uh, they are ver very often sophisticated speakers. They remember by listening and therefore they get most out of uh, the lecturers. Uh, they assign little meaning to concepts or information until that information is presented in an or, uh, presented in an audible format. And a, a little information about uh, the kinesthetic learners. Kinesthetic learners, they are learning uh, typically by touching. Uh, they are most of the time uh, in a move. Uh, they are doers, not talkers. They um, like things, uh, to take things apart, to put them together, to learn how things work. You will tell us more. And so, next. so teachers 
of course, should remember to use a variety of learning modalities and uh, when they plan lessons. Of course we do, but it's very important to mix uh, them up. Uh, to, uh, for visual learners, you can remember saying see it, they must see it. And oral learners, they must hear it. And kinesthetic learners, they must touch it or make its experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, what do visual learners like most? Uh, they like drawing pictures, they like playing games, uh, they <coughs> have always the, uh, the feeling of being there. I was being there because they remember some picture. Uh, they like uh, visualization, they like graphics, they like videos, and very important, they like colors. And so subjects are creative designs, uh, sculptures, they like art media, they like posters, brochures, uh, books, texts, whatever. And very important, uh, they like cartoons. And uh, uh, the last days, I remember a radio report because in uh, China at the moment, uh, they are uh, learning uh, the uh, Marxistic uh, theory by cartoons to the children because uh, they can remember uh, much better the input of the theory, the political theory, by, the ca by using cartoons. Okay. Uh -huh. Visual learners learn best through, I changed my uh, folder so it's not the same. Uh, they learn best by, for example, taking notes, making lists, to read later. They uh, learn by reading information. It's important for them to read. Uh, they are learning from books, from bi uh, videotapes, from film strips, from printouts. Uh, they are, uh, they uh, learn from a demonstration. They are working with concept maps. They are seeing in larger pictures. <coughs> and uh, applied techniques for uh, visual learners are uh, writing out everything for frequent and uh, quick visual review. Uh, a technique is uh, using colors, color coding uh, to mark something and um, using outlines, uh, using notes and flashcards. They are putting uh, post uh, strips on, for example, when they are learning vocabulary, writing down uh, the name of lamp, and putting it on the lamp because uh, they see the picture and remember it. And uh, as well, uh, reviewing textbooks during relevant lecture component. They are everything what they can see. And uh, strategies, they should, they should create concept maps. Strategies, uh, they should use videos and photos. And then uh, talking about uh, the uh, uh, um, visual learner and uh, uh, modern techniques, and uh, I will uh, tell more about this. Then uh, the next strategy is uh, they should uh, extremely use colors to understand, <coughs> to, uh, to mark in blue, in green, in uh, yellow, because for myself, I'm as well a very extreme visual learner. And I remember it must be in the text, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the sentence I marked in, uh, in yellow. 
I don't know the input, but I remember I marked it in yellow. And this on this side, I marked it in green. And uh, an another strategy is everything to visualize, using models, actual uh, or virtual, using symbols, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, the oral learner, the oral learner is uh, the one with the ears. And what they like most is playing word games for vocabulary, uh, to explain ideas, uh, to tell jokes, riddles, limericks. Uh, they like to explain, to describe, to discuss. They give and follow directions. They like retell. They like debates. They like questions and answers. And they like to speech. <coughs> and uh, how do oral learners uh, learn best? They learn best. Uh, they learn best through listening to lectures, not only reading a book. Uh, they learn by debating and discussing about uh, some things. They like. Uh, they uh, learn best when preparing oral presentations for others and using speech uh, recognition software as a modern technique and uh, finding alternative ways of uh, accessing texts. Applied techniques for oral learners are, for example, being in the classroom. Uh, the students uh, should uh, position themselves uh, in the classroom uh, or in the lecture hall so that they can hear very good, not in the last row. Uh, they uh, okay. Uh, then they should, uh, uh, when they have re um, written materials, they can learn when they read it loud to themselves because it's necessary to hear, not only to see. And they must verbally review spelling words in lectures with another person. And always uh, practice uh, a verbal repetition. And um, strategies for uh, strategy, uh, strategies it's so hard for not English teachers to pronounce some words. And um, strategy, strategy, strategies, I don't use it anymore. Um, for all learners are recording notes through speech recognition software. Ah. Mm -hmm. Uh, speech recognition software, <coughs> recording lectures to listen again, reading aloud or singing information. Singing uh, helps a lot for oral learners. Uh, then uh, revising by uh, recording and replaying information, making a list of keywords, uh, compiling a subject uh, specific vocabulary. Uh, these are some techniques and strategies for the visual, uh, for the oral learners. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Okay, that's it.